Hello, we are a SATEC team which works on biotechnology and synthetic biology. We will present our recent proposal project in this video. Our project is the modification of celestial molecule. Celestial is a herbal secondary metabolite extracted from Tryptergium bovary, which is a plant growing only in China today. It's a 29 carbon tryptoponoid molecule and its molecular weight is approximately 450 kilodalton. Celestial, along with other tryptoponoids, are commonly used in traditional medicine. However, they can be very poisonous even in low doses. A celestial molecule carries a great potential in pharmaceutical industry since it can be used as a drug against many diseases including cancer, obesity, type 2 diabetes, neurodegenerative diseases, and some viral infections. Celestial has been proven in studies to have the ability to prevent and cure cancer by blocking proteasomes, and celestial has been also shown in studies to be able to affect the transcription factors which can uh, cause apoptosis in mouse and human melanoma cells. In addition to being successful in cancer therapy, celestial has also been demonstrated in experiments as an effective inhibitor of inflammatory reactions. Celestial has been also shown both in vivo and vitro models of neurological diseases such as Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, multiple sclerosis, amyotropic lateral sclerosis to modulate a pro-inflammatory cytokine production, prevent the generation of reactive oxygen species, limit oxidative damage, protect against cell death, and regulate heat shock proteins. Celestial also reduces food intake, increases energy expenditure, leading to weight loss by increasing leptin hormone sensitivity, and acting on the liver, adipose tissue, and kidney reduces insulin resistance, improves abnormal lipid metabolism, and oxidative stress. Each year, billions of people suffer from diseases such as cancer, obesity, Alzheimer's disease, and millions of people die from those diseases. We have chosen celestial as a candidate drug molecule in our project due to its wide scope of uh, possible application. However, even though celestial has already been used in traditional medicine, it's highly toxic and can be lethal, even in lower doses. Celestial has poor water solubility, short half-life, narrow therapeutic window, and low bioavailability, which seriously affects its clinical application. Celestial's water solubility is poor as 13.25 mg per milliliter at 37 centigrade degree. And transportation of celestial in the blood circulation is not effective owing to its lower water solubility. Also, in a study conducted to investigate the toxic effect of celestial on zebrafish embryos, the survival rate was zero even at low concentrations of celestial as 3.2 micromolar. Celestial has been shown to inhibit the growth of tumors in human glioblastoma cells by inducing prototoxic stress, which alters cell signaling, which is a good thing. However, a celestial may also impair the development of healthy cells normally and result in unintended cell death. Some researchers develop water-soluble analogs of celestial for the transitional development of celestial. A sodium salt of celestial inhibits the growth of human colon cancer cells in vitro and in vivo with reduced toxic effect. In another study, celestial albumin nanoparticles reduced the accumulation of free celestial in all target organs and tissues, thus successfully reducing the systematic toxicity of celestial. However, many of the modifications are not as effective as glycolization. Glycolization of celestial molecule via a glycosyl transferase enzyme is possible and uh, glycolization of celestial was found to reduce the toxic effect of celestial. Glycosyl transferases are enzymes that catalyze the formation of the glycosidic linkage to form a glycoside. These enzymes utilize the activated sugar phosphatase as glycosyl donors and catalyze glycosyl group to a transfer to a nucleophilic group. 
Um, there are studies which have tried to reduce the toxic effects of celestial via glycolization and the modifications on some carbons on the celestial structure was actually successful. These celestial derivatives have a good impact in terms of potential clinical usage and optimization is convincible based on the alterations made to various carbon atoms which have greater pharmacological effects. Celestial can be altered in several ways uh, to increase its activity and to overcome drawbacks like its poor water solubility. By in which analysis of the series of carbon-20, amide and ester derivatives uh, such as primesterine and dehydrocelestrol, also known as DHCE, it was detected that uh, primesterine has similar activity to celestrol whereas DHCE, which does not have a quinone structure, shows no activity. In another study, modifications in carbon-3 and carbon-20 of celestial were compared to analyze their neuroprotective activity. The carboxylic group modifications in carbon-20 developed high protection at concentrations of 0.6 to 1.2. 8 micromolar as amid derivatives, while the ester derivatives were not so high in terms of protection against toxic and inflammatory effects in the nervous system. Uh, our main aim is that uh, we want to produce a modified celestial molecule which can be used as an affordable and accessible drug in the field of medicine and in the pharmaceutical industry. We propose to make the modification via glycosyl transferase enzyme to produce celestial glycosides which are less toxic and more soluble while still being active. We expect the modified celestial to be used as medicine in further studies which will provide health benefits for humanity. Um, to reach our uh, main purpose, we need to reach our three sub-aims. Our first sub-aim is to choose the appropriate glycosyl transferase enzyme, which is the most suitable for the celestial modification. To choose the most suitable enzyme, we will use molecular docking and molecular dynamic stimulations programs. Uh, our second goal is to complete the biotransformation process. Uh, firstly, Chosen glucose transferase enzyme coding sequence will be designed in a plasmid and the enzyme will be produced recombinantly in a bacterial system. Then, celestial will be modified with the recombinant glucose transferase enzyme and we will have the uh, modified celestial molecule. Our third sub aim is to assess to reduce toxicity of celestial in healthy cells while still being effective in cancer cells. Uh, we have designed an experimental procedure for our proposal. Um, the first step of our project is to conduct docking and molecular dynamic stimulations. Firstly, the optimization for celestial will be completed. Then, molecular docking of celestrol and candidate glycosyl transferase enzymes will be performed. Since molecular docking is a scholastic method and is not time dependent, in order to observe the changes throughout the time at atomic level, molecular dynamic simulation is actually necessary. Uh, in this direction, we will perform molecular dynamic simulations for our candidate glycosyl transferase enzymes. In addition to that, uh, to see whether the monomer structure is enough to perform the reaction or not, uh, we will perform the MD simulations for both monomer and dimmer states of the glycosyl transferase enzyme. Uh, two, for the second part of the experimental process, we will design a plasmid for the recombinant production of the chosen glycosyl transferase enzyme. The expression plasmid will be transformed into E. coli DH5-alpha in this step 
as you can see in the uh, figure. The produced enzyme will be purified with ammonium sulfate uh, precipitation method, followed by the histide purification technique to yield the enzyme with high efficiency. Then, STS, gel, STS page gel electrophoresis method will be utilized to confirm the successful production and produ uh, purification. Uh, to make sure that the recombinantly produced glycosyl transferase enzyme is working, we will use the active test aid kit. In the third step, we will conduct the biotransformation of celestial molecule. The native celestial will be modified by recombinant glycosyl transferase enzyme in the presence of UTP glucose molecule which is a sugar uh, in vitro. Modified celestial obtained from biotransformation will be analyzed via UPLC and HPLC analysis to reveal the new structure of celestial. In the fourth and the last step of our experimental design, uh, the determination of solubility and toxicity of the glycosides of celestial will be completed. Uh, we will determine the solubility of modified celestial via UPLC analysis. Uh, then to determine the toxicity of modified celestial, we will perform MTS assay with both healthy, which are mouse embryonic fibroblasts and human fetal osteoblastic cells, and cancer cell lines, which are human osteosarcoma and human breast cancer cells. Then the reduced toxicity will be confirmed with the DPPH free radical scavenging active assay. This is the overall experimental design of our proposed uh, project. Now we can mention our expected result from this project. The very first result we expect from our experiment is to find the best candidate enzyme chosen with molecular dynamic simulation analysis to transform native celestial to the modified celestial. The second outcome is to obtain the modified celestial via glycolization reaction catalyzed by recombinant glycosyl transferase enzyme. And the last result we expect is that uh, the modified celestial molecule's toxicity is actually reduced while the activity of celestial remains at a functional level. As a consequence, we expect the uh, modified celestial not to disturb uh, or kill the healthy cells while inducing apoptosis in the cancer cells and actually kill them. The originality of our project is that we have designed plasmid for recombinant production of glycosyl transferase enzyme synthetically. And the uh, glycosyl transferase enzyme we will recombinantly produce have actually never been used to modify the celestial molecule in literature in previous studies. Our project has a great potential to be used in many areas in the future. One of the future implementations of our proposal project is that uh, celestial can be used in cancer research. Further, this study's celestial molecule, which was modified to be less toxic, can be used in the pharmaceutical industry as a potential anti-cancer drug. And in addition to cancer, uh, the celestial glucosides can be used for the treatment of many other vital diseases. As mentioned at the beginning of this presentation, celestial have been already investigated to be used and to cure, to prevent many complications such as obesity, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, cardiovascular diseases, and uh, many viral infections like uh, HIV and all that. As a conclusion, um, the biotransformation is found to be the most efficient and practical method for the modification of celestial. 
Modified cholesterol can be used as a drug to cure many diseases from which millions of people suffer each day. The biotransformation and modifications in this proposal can be highly beneficial for clinical use of cholesterol. Uh, that was it. This is, these are our Celtech team members, as you can see. And as Celtech team members, we thank you for listening to our project presentation. Have a nice day.